Good morning! I'm back at it again. Yay, another five hours of classes. Um, I told myself that if I got up and out of the house in time, I could go buy a coffee. Fancy. Um, so I'm headed to try the Dunkin' Donuts version of the espresso brown sugar iced thing. Duncan is typically too sweet for me, so I am a little bit concerned about that, but okay, hold on, the light turned green. Okay, first of all, why did that take like five seconds? I don't know about you guys, but the Starbuckses around here are, I don't know if they're just too busy, if the workers are slow, if they need to like get more machines, I don't know, but sometimes it takes like 20 minutes to get your, just your drink over there, especially if it's like a espresso drink. Anyway, so I didn't really know what I was ordering and I panicked <laughs> when I was at the drive-thru because literally like I just pulled up. I didn't even have time to look at the menu or anything. And she's like, can I get you something? And I'm like, uh, one second. And so then I just scrambled. Um, so what I ended up getting was an iced coffee with the brown sugar syrup, which seems to be all on the bottom. That's kind of gross. And then I added oat milk. So let me see if I can stir this up some. And then of course, you know, I had to get three munchkins because when in Rome, when at Duncan, and it was only like $5. So sorry, Starbucks, you're about to not get any more of my business ever. I, I couldn't believe it. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Well, it doesn't to you, but it does to me. Okay, let's see. It is definitely sweeter, definitely like, definitely just sweeter, definitely sweeter. There's more of that brown sugar that comes through than the Starbucks one, but it's good and cheap and fast. Just saying, I might be a Dunkin' girl now. All right, so now I've got 30 minutes to kill because I thought that that was going to take a lot longer. So what what can I do? I got to find something to do. Well, that was a fail. Does someone want to tell me how come when you go to the UPS store storefront, like the brick and mortar, and they're closed on Sundays? Fine. That's fine. Why? There's not a drop box here? Like, what the actual heck? So now I have to drive like a mile away from here. That's the closest one. The heck? That makes no sense. Found one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bye bye. Fabric. That was my stash fabric. I sell it on, um, Destashify. So if you're looking for some cheap fabric, I think I priced it all at like $5 a yard or something. So um, all kinds of different fabrics there from my personal stash chosen by me for the most part. Some of it was like gifted stuff, but. All right, I'm here at Stash and I thought that I would try and work on today's decor tutorial. <laughs> and we all decided that it's giving fallopian tube. Um, so we're, we're not gonna, this is a fail. This is a fail. Just proof that they're not all winners, guys. All the ideas in my head. <laughs> you guys, I have a real big problem. Something's wrong with my car. I was on my way home from teaching classes and it was fine. Got halfway home. I don't live very far from there. And um, then the check engine light came on and then shortly after that, some light that says EPC, which is some kind of like something prevention control, maybe. I don't know anything about cars. So it's a lease. That's the good news. So I'm not going to be like surprised with like a $5,000 car repair. Um, but it's probably the transmission. Like it's making this like gurgling sound and like the gas pedal wouldn't work anymore. And I had so many fun plans for tomorrow. I was gonna go to Target. <laughs> but 
But now, instead of going to Target, I have to find out if I can even drive it up to the dealership. If I can't, then I have to get it towed. It just feels like tomorrow is going to be sitting around, excuse me, excuse me, um, sitting around waiting on people. And I hate that. Oh, I don't know. There's so many things that are up in the air and I don't do well with up in the air things. I like to have a plan. So I'll just have to like woo saw it through the night and deal with it tomorrow. I did try and call. They're not open. Some answering service answered. She could answer nothing. She could not be of any help. She's like, I can take an appointment or leave a message. And I'm like, okay, I will leave a message. Um, so <laughs> I don't like being an adult when adulting is hard. Although I don't have classes for a while, I don't want to be stuck at home. Um, if they do tell me it's going to be a minute, then I'm going to ask for a um, courtesy rental or whatever. I don't know if you guys have any advice for me at all. I'll leave it in the comment section. If you work at a dealership, if you've dealt with that kind of stuff in the past, if you know a lot about leases somehow, and you have advice for me, let me know. Otherwise, we'll be, I'll just be winging it like I always have. So I will say the class went really well today. Um, I had one of my kids come in and she's so sweet. She literally always wants to make things for other people. So today we made five zipper pouches in two hours. <laughs> she picked out all the fabric for each person. She's like, my grandma would like this fabric. My dad will like this fabric. My sister will like this fabric. And went through the whole family and we made a whole bunch of zipper pouches. And then when her dad came to pick her up, she had to like hide it all because she didn't want him to see his zipper pouch. <laughs> it was all just really cute, really cute and really sweet. Um, but then... And I could really use some advice from you guys on this, actually. She started telling me that she knows, and I think she's 10, 9 or 10. Anyways, she starts telling me that she knows that Santa's not real. I am not equipped to handle that kind of conversation with a kid. So I freak out, instantly start sweating. My palms start sweating. I'm sure I'm like flushed and like red. And I'm like, what makes you think Santa's not real? And she's like, well, last year I found a whole bunch of stuff in my parents' closet that said Santa on it. And then when Christmas came, that stuff was from Santa. But it was already in our house, like way early. And I was like, well, I was like, you know, can you imagine being Santa Claus and having to deliver all those presents in one night with just one sleigh? I'm like, I'm sure that Santa has to like work with the parents and, you know, the parents store the stuff on Santa's behalf. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like riffing. I'm like totally making this up. And she's like, well, then I Googled, is Santa real? No, not the Google. And tell me how come the internet can like totally determine what you see regarding politics. But when it comes to a 10 year old trying to find out if Santa is real, it can't deliver some fake page about Santa. Because she's, I was like, oh yeah. I was like, what did Google say? And she was like, it said, she said the first thing that it said was how to tell your kids that Santa's not real. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know, the internet, you can't believe anything you see on the internet. Oh my God. So I don't know what's going to happen, but she is convinced that Santa's not real. She's probably telling her little sister that Santa's not real and like she's going to ruin it for everybody. And so I was like, well, just be careful. I was like, the moment you stop believing in Santa, the moment you stop getting gifts. <laughs> just trying to scare her. Um, so I know there's a lot of moms and grandmothers on here. Like, what do you do when you're not the parent? I don't want to step on their toes. They have their own plan, right? Like, they got their family figured out. I don't need to be getting involved in that. Plus, there's also an element of like, I want her to feel comfortable coming to me. And like, that I'm not going to rat her out to her parents if it's not something super serious. Like, I want her to feel like this is a safe space to like, tell me stuff in case something serious does come up. She doesn't feel like she has to withhold it. Like, I'm an adult, but I'm not like her parents. So I don't want to tell her parents that she's talking about Santa Claus either because I don't want them to say, your swimming teacher told me that you said that Santa's not real. 
So I'll try and deal with it the best I can, but still leave it up to the parents, but still let her know that she can trust me with stuff. So it's, I don't know, it feels like not that big of a deal because it's just Santa, but also at the same time, like kind of a big deal because it will establish like how our relationship's going to be maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm reading into it too much and she's just 10 and I need to just like get over it. But yeah, yeah, apparently I am the go-to source for whether or not Santa is real. <laughs> Oh no, I know, I know, I know. So I just thought that that was so funny though. Like she has it all figured out. But come on parents, put your stuff in the closet. We gotta do better. We gotta do better than that. Especially when they turn 10 and they're as smart as she is. She's very smart. Anyway, so that was my day today. Defending Santa and car troubles and teaching. But I did get my... um. DIY project my DIY holiday decor project done um it's a ornament dog bed cute but seeing as I probably have to clean out my car today I definitely have to clean out my car today because either way it's going to the dealership so clean out the car I don't know if I'm going to be able to film the tutorial we might have to take a day off from the 10 days why did I make it 10 days why couldn't I just make it five days can I go back now and retroactively change all the captions to say five days? <laughs> five days of DIY. And no, there won't be more. Oh, whoa. I know I'm just like rambling a lot here at the end, but um, you guys are so funny about yesterday's video. Like only about 20% of people that watched the video left the secret comment. So I thought that that was really funny. And those of you that were like in on the joke that left the comment were being like sly and sneaky about like trying not to make it too obvious. I thought that was hilarious. You guys are really funny. So I'll pick um, those names soon. <laughs> Probably tomorrow, especially if I'm going to be sitting around doing nothing. Um, and then reach out to you guys um, to let you know who won. I'm just going to use like a random generator type thing on the video comments. So... Um, so yeah, I'll reach out to you guys and let you know who did that. But our little, our little trickery, tricky giveaway thing worked. It was a lot of fun to see all those comments come in too. So go us. But, um, okay. Yeah. So that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll update you with what's going on with the car. We'll see. But that's it for Vlogmas Day 2. Say bye, Biscuit. Bye, Biscuit. Bye, you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.